Hello and welcome back to another gem cutting video. Andrew Stewart here from stewartgems.com. In this video I'll be continuing on from last week's gem cutting project which did not go to plan after running into an inclusion. So here are the four remaining gemstones that I need to cut. To complete the six pairs I need for the colour graduated set. I have two pieces of orthocles, a praseolite and a morganite, all of which need to be faceted into a heart shaped design. I've actually never faceted an orthocles before, so I'm interested to see how it cuts. Orthocles has two planes of cleavage at 90 degrees to each other, which is where it gets its name from, orthocles meaning perfect break. Cleavage planes can be difficult or often even impossible to polish, so I'm going to orientate the gemstone carefully and make sure that these planes here don't line up with any facet. This means sacrificing a bit of the rough gem to avoid any problems. So after dopping all the rough gemstones, I'm going to use the Ultratech V5 Facet and Machines key dop system when I preform the other rough gems. I already have finished the pavilion of the Praseolite. So I can use this as a template. I can simply switch over and back and between each of the rough gemstones without losing my position and my facets will all be still lined up. After putting the praseolite into the quill of the facet and machine, I set the depth of cut giving myself a little bit of room to spare and then I exchange the praseolite for one of the other gems and start cutting. This will allow me to preform the girdle and I'll do this for each of the three roughs that I've yet to complete the pavilion of. Then it's just a matter of cutting away and as I cut you can see the numbers reducing down towards the 90. Once I hit the exact 90 degrees that means I've cut to the depth I need And so I keep repeating that same step over again, switching from the praseolite for each of the facets of the girdle of the gemstone until I've completed the outline of each of the gemstones. Then I move on to cutting the pavilion facets for each gem. This orthocles seems to be much slower to cut than the um, organite which is beryl. It's um, similar in hardness so I'm not sure what's causing that. If you know why that is leave your answer in the comment section below this video I'd be very interested to know. Next I move back to cutting the morganite and this is the last suitable piece of morganite that I have to complete the pair that I'm making. So I hope this one works out. So as I cut the morganite I go through my usual process of cutting in each facet and then removing any inclusions that may cause a problem.
as I add each set of two facets to the pavilion of the gem here, you can really start to see the form of this heart design come to fruition. You can now support this channel on Patreon. Patreon members receive Patreon only updates, get early access to our gem cutting videos and watch ad free. Link in the description below. Next, I move on to polishing. So, Ortoclise being the first time I've polished it, then I try a few different techniques. And at first, things don't go quite well. It's not polishing well for me, so I just vary what I'm doing. I try a few different polishing laps, different polishing compounds, different speeds until I find what works best. Polishing stage is always the most difficult when gem cutting. Each gemstone is different and often you have to use different techniques on different facets of the gem. That's because nature is imperfect and the gemstones form with minor flaws in the crystal structure. This means that a gemstone can react differently depending on which side of the gem you're polishing. Sometimes it can be quite frustrating when you're polishing a gem and everything's going really well and you're nearly finished and then one facet just won't polish for you. If you enjoy watching these gem cutting videos, please like, subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon to receive notifications when I publish a new video. After finishing the pavilion of the gems, I move on to cutting the crowns. step in cutting is to cut the table of the gemstone. After cutting the table, I then polish the crown of each of the gemstones. Finishing up with the last facet to be polished will be the table. Use this 45 degree adapter to hold the gemstone perfectly parallel to the polishing lap. With the gemstones now polished, all that is left is the big reveal at the end. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this gem cutting video. Thank you.